Can you imagine a beast so powerful it could snap a crocodile in half? Well, a creature like that actually existed, and today, we're diving deep into the prehistoric world to uncover its story. Meet Purusaurus, the undisputed king of the ancient Amazon. Now, you might be thinking it's just another big crocodile, but you'd be mistaken. Purusaurus was a giant caiman, a close relative of today's alligators and caimans, but scaled up to monstrous proportions. We're talking about a creature that dominated its ecosystem during the Miocene epoch, around 13 to 5 million years ago. Its fossils have been unearthed across South America, from Brazil and Peru to Colombia and Venezuela, painting a picture of a predator that ruled the vast wetlands that once covered the continent. This wasn't just another predator, it was the apex predator, the final boss of the Amazonian food web. So, how big was this Amazon monster? Let's get into the staggering numbers. Fossil evidence suggests that Purusaurus could reach lengths of up to 12.5 meters, or about 41 feet, that's longer than a school bus. To put that into perspective, the largest saltwater crocodiles today, which are already terrifying, max out at around 6 meters. Purusaurus was more than double their length, and its weight. Scientists estimated tipped the scales at a colossal 8 point for metric tons. That's heavier than a large male African elephant. Imagine a predator with the length of a bus and the weight of an elephant patrolling the ancient rivers. It's a truly humbling thought. Its sheer size alone made it an intimidating force, capable of overpowering almost any other animal it encountered. But its size was only part of the equation. The real terror of Purusaurus lay in its weaponry. Its skull was a fortress of bone, incredibly wide and robust, built to withstand immense stress. And inside that skull was a set of jaws that could only be described as a natural superweapon. Its teeth were not thin and sharp like many predators. They were thick, conical, and incredibly strong, some reaching over two inches in length. These weren't just for slicing, they were for crushing. Paleontologists believe these teeth were perfectly designed to puncture thick hides, shatter bone, and hold on to massive, struggling prey. Think of them less as knives and more as railroad spikes. Now, let's talk about the bite. The bite force of Purusaurus is one of its most legendary attributes. Based on biomechanical models of its skull, scientists have estimated its bite force at a mind-boggling 69,000 newtons. That's equivalent to about 7 metric tons of force crushing down on a single point. To give you some context, the bite of a great white shark is around 18,000 newtons. The fearsome Tyrannosaurus rex had an estimated bite force of about 35,000 newtons. Purusaurus could bite down with nearly twice the force of a T-rex. This wasn't just a bite, it was an annihilation. It could have crushed the shell of a giant turtle as easily as we would crack a nut. Any animal caught in those jaws had virtually no chance of escape. So what did a creature with this much power actually eat? The fossil record gives us some chilling clues. The wear patterns on its fossilized teeth, combined with bite marks found on other fossils from the same region, tell a clear story. Purusaurus wasn't a picky eater. It was an apex predator that consumed a wide variety of large animals that shared its wetland habitat. This included giant rodents, massive turtles, and even other, smaller crocodilians. Yes, you heard that right. This giant caiman was so dominant that it actively hunted and ate other crocodiles. In an environment teeming with formidable predators, Purusaurus sat at the very top of the food chain. It was the monster that even other monsters feared. The evidence for this croc hong croc predation is compelling. Scientists have found fossilized remains of smaller crocodilians with puncture marks that perfectly match the size and spacing of Purusaurus's teeth. Its massive, robust skull and immense bite force were overkill for smaller prey. They were adaptations for tackling the biggest and toughest animals in its environment. By preying on other large reptiles, Purusaurus established a level of dominance rarely seen in any ecosystem, past or present. It truly was the undisputed emperor of the Miocene Amazon. Let's take a moment to imagine what it would be like if Purusaurus were alive today. Our modern world would be completely unprepared for such a creature. The rivers and wetlands of South America would become no-go zones. Imagine going on a river tour and seeing something longer than your boat's surface next to you. Any boat small enough to navigate those rivers would be seen not as a vessel, but as a potential meal. 
the entire ecological balance would be thrown into chaos. Modern crocodiles and caimans, which we consider apex predators, would be relegated to mid-tier prey. It fundamentally rewrites our understanding of a predator hierarchy. An animal like Purusaurus would challenge our very sense of safety near any large body of freshwater. It's a humbling reminder of how different and how much more dangerous the ancient world could be. But here's where the story takes an interesting twist. While its primary hunting strategy was likely the classic crocodilian underwater ambush, some scientists have proposed a fascinating alternative. Looking at its skull structure, particularly the high placement of its nostrils, some researchers speculate that it may have been capable of a different kind of hunting. This unique skull design might have allowed it to lie in wait on the riverbank, almost completely submerged except for its nostrils, an ambush prey that came to the water's edge from land. Even more intriguingly, its powerful build might have allowed for short, explosive bursts of speed on land, much like modern crocodiles, but on a much larger scale. This raises a fascinating question, was Purusaurus just an aquatic ambush predator, or was it also a land ambusher, capable of lunging out of the water to snatch terrestrial prey? The image of an 8-ton behemoth launching itself onto the riverbank is a terrifying one. What do you think? Was it a pure water killer, or did it hunt on land too? Let me know your theories in the comments below. The reign of Purusaurus couldn't last forever. As the Miocene epic gave way to the Pliocene, the environment of South America began to change dramatically. The Andes Mountains continued to rise, which altered the drainage patterns of the Amazon Basin. The vast, slow-moving wetland system that Purusaurus called home began to shrink and transform into the faster-flowing river system we see today. This environmental shift had a devastating impact on the giant caiman's food sources. The large, slow-moving animals it preyed upon began to disappear unable to adapt to the new landscape. Faced with a dwindling food supply and a changing habitat, the colossal Purusaurus, the ultimate specialist predator, simply couldn't survive. It was too big to specialize, and its time had come to an end. Its extinction serves as a powerful lesson in how even the mightiest of creatures are at the mercy of their environment. The legacy of Purusaurus lives on in the fossil record, a testament to a time when giants roamed the earth it continues to capture the imagination of scientists and the public alike, a symbol of the sheer scale and power that life can achieve. Studying creatures like Purusaurus helps us understand the complex interplay between evolution, adaptation, and environmental change. It reminds us that the world we live in is just a snapshot in time, and that beneath our feet lies the history of countless other worlds, ruled by incredible beasts we can now only imagine. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey back in time to meet the incredible Purusaurus. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about the amazing and terrifying creatures of the prehistoric world, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Until next time, stay curious.